I've been writing letters and sending emails, faxes, whatever it takes to my elected officials at every level to let them know that this is important to me, that I'm a diverse, educated woman that they need to listen to and I'm not going to be pigeonholed into one category of a gun owner. We come from all walks of life and we have something to say about it. This is a weapon of mass slaughter. No one needs an assault rifle to go out and shoot a deer. People in the media and the public in general just really desperately needs an education. Basically, they want everyone to be afraid of firearms, and they're not focusing on a woman being able to protect herself. These authorities that I've never met, they'll never know me, they'll never know my circumstances, they'll never know what I'm up against. They won't ever meet that woman who is unfortunately dealing with an abusive former spouse, and they need protection. We're gonna start with an AR-15, I think. We are, uh, actually I have a wide variety of firearms. They are all semi-automatic. They differ in appearance and uses, but they all have the same function. A lot of people always come back and say, well, why do you need this, why do you need this, why do you need this? And they're not assault weapons and they're not military style weapons, that's terminology that somebody else has developed for the gun. What it is, is it's a sporting rifle and it's a self-defense rifle and it's a hunting rifle. And there are so many of them in existence and so many of them being used in a, a lawful manner. When I'm watching in the media about how they think that the procedure by which you obtain a firearm is so seamless and easy and so subjective, if you will, it's not. It's here, it's cut and dry. In years past, a lot of companies, to cater to women, they were just putting pink on their product and, oh, there's a women's product. Right now is our time. As women, we get to get out there and we get to tell people what this is all about. Becoming a shooter and, and a gun owner, I feel so empowered. <laughs> In shooting sports, you don't just drop your kids off and leave and run errands. I want to protect my child in any way that's possible. I want them to have that right to protect the thing that we, our future. So many things could change when we start losing our civil rights and our most basic civil rights of self-defense. If people are willing to give up that thing, then they're going to be willing to give up others. I don't think you can overstate how critical it is for women to get engaged with what's going on right now. It's not just about Washington and everything else. It's about sharing your sport, sharing your passion, sharing your desire to protect yourself.